What's up guys, Mike here, the Detroit Borg, with a look at iOS 8.4 and the new music app. So we get an all new music app, which I previewed in a previous video, but this time we get the new Apple Music Service integrated, which changes things quite a bit here. Now the first thing I wanna do is to sign up for the Apple Music Service, which is optional, you don't need to do this, uh, but you'll see in the upper left corner, you have quick access to your account. Now under your account, you can change your name and your nickname. So if you go up to edit here, you can change your nickname. One isn't there by default, I had to add that. Uh, and you can also change your avatar here. So if you go up to edit here, you can select an avatar either from taking the photograph right now or choosing one from your gallery. Now under following, you can see that I'm currently following 33 artists and this has been automatically set to automatically follow artists that are within my music library. So essentially any artist that has an Apple Connect account will appear here and you can unfollow them if you want. Uh, and you can also follow them manually by going to the Connect page, which I'll show you later. Now let's go ahead and join Apple Music. Now there are two plans to pick from, the individual plan and the family plan up to six. Now the individual plan is $9.99 a month after the trial ends. Now the family plan is good for up to six individuals that are using family sharing and that's $14.99 a month. So I'm going with the individual plan for $9.99 a month and I have to sign in with my iTunes account. Now let's take a look at the new music app. So the interface is completely changed here. And once you become a subscriber to Apple Music, you do get a few new features, which is not included with the standard music app, but otherwise the interface is pretty similar. Now we have these tabs down here for our music. We have For You, which is Apple Music. Uh, basically this is tailored to your specific taste and I'll show you how you can set that up. We have New for New Music and Artists, which you can scroll through here. So you can see music that's being highlighted or promoted. You can see hot tracks and hot albums, recently added albums and that sort of thing. We have Radio, which includes B one the new 24-hour world radio station that broadcasts live. We also have Connect, which is kind of a social network for artists within the Apple Music environment. So you can follow certain artists and get some updates on their activities. You can also like tracks and that sort of thing. We have My Music, which is your existing music library. So of course, none of that is lost here. You still have access to it. And again, we have a completely different interface. Now, before we get to the Apple Music features, let's talk about My Music and your library. So completely new interface here, which includes recently added so new albums you've added will appear up here. You're limited to three here, but you can scroll through your existing database down here. Now this can be scrolled pretty quickly here just by swiping through it. You also have an alphabet that pops out along the side here. So if you wanna quickly scrub to that part of the alphabet, you can. Now, if you want to search by a certain category here, so let's go back to the top, you can search either by artists, albums, songs, music videos, genres, composers, and compilations. You can also enable show music available offline, so music you have already downloaded to your device, you can turn this on so you only see those albums. So for example, if you want to search by albums, it sorts to albums. If you want to search by artists, it sorts to artists. And again, very similar interface for both. Now, if you see these ellipses toward the right of each item here, you can select this. Now you can start a new station uh, based on that artist if you want, make songs available offline so it downloads all the songs from that artist or that album. Uh, you can also delete it if you want. You can also quickly play back music just by tapping on any one of these badges. And you can pause it, play it, and that sort of thing. You can also see that we have this new mini player that pops out or hides when you don't need it. So you can continue browsing through the entire music app while the mini player is down here and readily accessible. And you can quickly tap this to play it or resume it. Now certain artists get album artwork, so the entire interface will actually adapt to that artwork. So you can see that the text has changed color, the background has changed color. So for example, if we go to a different artist here, let's go to Aerosmith. Again, you can see the interface changes for it. Now when you're within this artist, you can see My Music, which is music you own or is available from your existing library. But you also have All, which actually gives you access to their entire library. So if you want to access this, you can. Again, that's part of Apple Music. We can also use Apple Connect to follow this artist. So if you want to quickly follow the artist, you can do so from this view. Now for taking a look at songs and tap that ellipsis, you get to lots of other options, including play next or add to up next. So we now have a queuing option available within Apple Music, which has been long missed. We have start station, so you can create a new radio station based on that uh, song. You can also create a genius playlist, which we've seen for quite a while. You can remove this from my music, make available offline, so we'll download it. You can show in the iTunes stores, you can see the description, the rating, that sort of thing. You can also share a song. So basically, if you wanna share the song with Twitter, uh, this will basically create a link for that song. So how do you manage your up next list? Well, you go to the players, you bring up the mini player, you go to the list view, and you can see the up next songs, you can see now playing, and you can see your entire history behind it. Now from here, you can rearrange these items if you want, you can clear out the entire list, or you can add new songs. Now playlists have also been redesigned and you can see up top we have a recently added playlist and you can also see all the available playlists below based on your, the music within your existing library. 
Now, if you want to create a new one, you can go to new and you can add album artwork. So you can choose a photo or take a photograph. You can add a title and that sort of thing. And you can add songs and add a description. Now you can also go to existing playlists and edit them. So for example, if you want to change the album artwork, you can change the title, the description, and that sort of thing. Now, something new here is the ability to add playlists from Apple Music. So I can see my Apple Music playlist here. So I've added one. So how do we add a playlist from Apple Music? Well, we have to go to Apple Music here. And right now we have playlists which have been set up for me based on my preference. So one of my favorites here is Alternative Hits from 2013. And all I have to do to create that playlist or add it is go to this plus sign and now it's added to my music. So now if I go to my music and go to Apple Music Playlist, you'll see it right here. So let's take a look at Apple Music, which appears under For You. Now Apple Music is tailored toward your taste and you can set this up under your account. So if we go to account and choose artists, we can set this up. I already set this up previously, so I'm gonna go ahead and reset it so we can get back to scratch to show you what you would see for the first time. So they give you a collection of genres to pick from and you can select your preference from them. So to select your favorite genres of music, just tap once. Tap again to increase its prominence. So if you really like alternative music, that will be more prominent. Now, if you don't like a specific category of music, you can eliminate it entirely. So for example, I don't particularly like country, so I can tap and hold on it and it removes it completely. I also like top hits, so I'm gonna make that prominent. I like pop, I like classical. I also like electronic, but not too much electronic. And then let's see what else, I like experimental. So let's go and click next. Now next up, it's gonna give us some artists in those categories which we can pick. So for example, let's say I like Taylor Swift, I really like Coldplay, uh, and I like Sam Smith, and I don't like Whitney Houston, so I can remove that if I want, and I actually don't know some of these other ones. Uh, but you can go to more artists if you wanna add a few more. So once we're done, just click done. So now you have music that is basically tailored to your taste. So for example, alternative hits from 2013, I can click play, and I can see the entire playlist if I want by going right here, so it'll tell me what's coming up. Now you can also just search Apple Music for artists you want to listen to specifically. So I can search Dead Mouse if I want. And again, this is searching Apple Music, but if I want to search my library, I can. But I'm gonna search Apple Music here, so let's go to Dead Mouse. So you can see the entire library of Dead Mouse available through Apple Music, and I can stream them without purchasing them. Now in order to make Apple Music available offline, what you'll need to do is add it to My Music. So we can add it to My Music, and then once we go to My Music, you can see we'll have an option to make this available offline. So let's go ahead and play that. Let's go to the ellipses up here, and you can now make it available offline. Under new, we'll find new albums and tracks that they're highlighting and advertising, hot tracks, recent releases, top songs, and that sort of thing. You can also select different genres. So if you like alternative music, you can see what's new under alternative. Now there is a lot going on under Apple Music. So for example, we're looking at what's new under the alternative category, which includes things like new music, uh, top tracks, recent releases, top songs. We can also go to more top charts. If you wanna see more charts, you can go by songs, albums, and videos. And again, you can change the genre up here. We also have these curated playlists. So you can see alternative, Americana, blues, Christian and gospel, etc. lots of them to pick from. You also have music videos, which you can play from here. Summertime playlists, so again, curated summertime playlists relevant to this category. New artist spotlight, spotlight on the 80s. Uh, again, 80s alternative music and essentials. So for example, Nirvana and Pearl Jam, which are kind of quintessential alternative artists. Now we still have iTunes Radio, so if you don't want to pay for Apple Music, you still have free music via iTunes Radio, you just have a lot less control over here. Basically, you have curated playlists to pick from. But there is a new feature here, which is Beats One Radio. Basically, this is a worldwide 24-hour radio station that streams live. Now, Beats One is like a classic radio station. You have a DJ that picks the music, that talks about it, that hosts interviews, that will have guest DJs and that sort of thing, so you can expect that kind of uniform world experience all in one radio station. So pumped to introduce this next band. This is Miss Mister out of Brooklyn. They are my Brooklyn fam. Their new album comes out July 18th. It's going to be incredible. Beats one. This is painted. So as you can see, the DJ introduces and talks about the artist and the music, and you can play or stop the music live. So right now it's broadcasting live. So basically I'm muting the music. I'm not actually stopping it or resuming it, that sort of thing. So you can't fast forward or skip it or anything like that. Now we do get some new featured stations with a new Apple Music. So again, these are curated playlists based on genre, but you can also weed this down more specifically to specific genres, specific eras, and specific styles. 
We also have Connect, which is kind of similar to Ping, if you remember that. But basically, it's a social network within the Apple Music or iTunes Music experience. So basically, you can keep updated on what artists and curators are doing by following them. You can also comment and like them. Now, if you want to modify who you're following, you can jump right to it. So right now, I can see who I'm following right from this list. Again, that's also available on your account. Now, I can also add new artists and curators from this list. So for example, if I want to add Apple Music Electronic, that's a curator. Or if I want to add a specific artist, like let's go with Lana Del Rey and click done. So now I'm following those people. Right now, they're not contributing a lot to this. So obviously, I can't really show you much here. Uh, but right now, I'm looking at Apple Music Alternative. So you can see the number of likes on this, the number of comments, and the number of shares. Now, I can also go ahead and comment on this. So you can see previous comments up here. And I can say awesome playlist. So the idea here is that anytime there's a new posting from one of your favorite artists or one of your favorite curators, you'll get a notification and they'll pop up here. Now Siri has also been enhanced to take advantage of Apple Music. So for example, I could say something like, play the top 10 songs in 1987. So now it's playing the top 10 songs from 1987. I can take it right to the music app and see what's ahead. Play the top song, June 17th, 1987. Play the top song in 1993. I can also see something like, play songs for working out. Play electronic music. Now, in case you're wondering what the Apple Music app looks like on the iPad, very similar, of course, but the layout has been optimized for the size of the iPad. So you can see the music that is curated for me. You can see the mini player down here, which you can swipe up to invoke or minimize here and click play, pause, that sort of thing. We also have what's new. So again, the layout is optimized for the screen real estate. We have radio, so you can see all your radio stations and you can play Beats Music. We also have Connect, so you can see your Connect activity. Now we also have playlists and My Music separated here. They're combined on the iPhone. So again, you have a little more screen real estate to fit these icons in. Uh, so you have playlists and you have My Music. My Music is again sortable by various categories here. So hopefully this comes up. You can see artists, artists on the left side and your albums on the right side. You can see songs and that sort of thing. You can also see your music videos. Now there are some other differences here. For example, when you want to see your up next list, it comes up as a pop out instead of closing out what you're looking at. And also on the iPad, recently added includes up to six items instead of just three. Also new with iOS 8.4 is the relocation of audiobooks from the music app to the iBooks app, which I think makes a lot of sense. So if you go to iBooks here, you now have all books, but you can also drop down to get to your audiobooks. So you have a player here as well. So if you bring up the player, again, pretty familiar to other Apple players in the system. All right, guys, so that is my look at Apple Music and iOS 8.4. I really like it so far, but of course, time will tell, and we should see a lot of improvements over time. So that's going to do for me in this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video. Now, certain artists, oh my God, it just crashed. <laughs> that's not good. I guess this will end up at the end of the video.